when Raul came to my studio, charm came to my studio. He quickly absorbed what I was teaching because he was very talented, had a natural appetite for the work. But Latino actors were not finding much work in those days. You have to remember that. Whatever the reasons, there were no jobs. You were with a gang member, or you were a waiter, or, you know, only parts where you were playing someone who did menial work. At that time, there was a lot of discrimination of Puerto Ricans. They were minority. They were also in a, in a ghetto, which was El Barrio. We were not considered part of the American citizenship. They thought of us as, uh, as the other. It was always very, very clear and vocal about the fact of the very few opportunities that we were getting. We weren't getting as many opportunities as, as, as we should have. We never saved the day. We weren't intelligent. Oh, you're going to be an actor. Great. What are you going to do? Who are you going to rape and rob and mug? I mean, either that or be the victim. Once you start speaking uh, about who are the storytellers, you always find out that the uh, European-based cultures tend to be able to tell their stories much easier than non-European-based cultures. And a lot of actors probably that were of uh, Hispanic heritage that ended up changing their name out of absolute necessity to get work so they wouldn't get typecast. It was fiercely, fiercely Pur Puerto Rican, proud of being Pur Puerto Rican. Raul, you know, set an example of not having to do that. <laughs> 